some of the things you know that we commonly want our patients to do if they have a, a forward head posture or rounded shoulders it's really important that they do rows i mean that is just so important to start opening up through here working the back side so you know simple rows with this could just be walking back to where they feel tension having a loop through each hand and i pull the elbows straight back so it's just getting them introduced to standing with good foot position pelvis in neutral maintaining the core so they're not flaring the ribs keeping the shoulders neutral head neutral while they're rowing elbows straight back when i want to add a progression or something isometric i have them pull back and extend through the triceps i love this because activating the triceps which everybody likes for their arms then they are opening the chest tricep is connecting to the posterior scapula and i'm getting depression and i can just have them hold this for 30 to 60 seconds come back elbows bend reach out pull back elbows back as far as you can go i feel myself opening through here abs are on and do a tricep extension pull 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 breathe don't lose position in the core don't lose position in the head feel equal weight on both feet squeeze the glutes tense your body and relax and you could go back into multiple reps that you need them to do other rows you know would be as simple as low rows so if i've got this around the leg of a table this works so let's think of lots of the different things that we could do just in the foot position with this so this would be a bilateral leg stance just like that i could go into a bent over row bent over at the hips so i'm not rounding my lumbar spine i'm going to make sure i'm moving through my hips shoulders back not rounded and i can go into a bent over row which i think is a fantastic important exercise for us i feel a nice stretch in my hamstrings my glutes if i want i can row stand up hip hinge row stand up so i'm getting glute activation as well as scapular stability and scapular activation let's just think about different foot positions that was our double leg stance i could go to staggered stance i like to just put one foot back on my toe and i really have as much weight as i can on this four foot and I could be in a row position like this, bend over through the hip, row. Another foot position would be a crossover. So some people call this the curtsy lunge or crossover I could be in this position and row or if I wanted to add some cardio to it it could look like and doing repetitive movements really activates the glutes if I want to get somebody's glute meat especially sore I'll have them do lots of reps of the curtsy lunge it could be just like that is a great combination whole body exercise working the posterior chain